Welcome to Words of Wisdom, where we interview our Bible Institute guest lecturer for the week. And here with us today is Mr. Tom Phillips. How are you, Mr. Tom? I'm great, Courtney. Good to be with you today. Good, good. I'm so excited to know that you're here to teach judges. And recently, uh, you moved back up to the New York campus. So how does it feel to come back down to your f home in Florida to teach the student body judges? We are having a great time. And it's just like always, great students in a nice classroom environment and uh, they're involved and uh, it's just great to teach them. Good. Well, let's get to know you a little bit. What was your first year of college like? Where did you go? What was your major? I went to a college in Chattanooga, Tennessee called Tennessee Temple and my major was music education and I really wanted to be a band director. So band uh, first year of college was a lot of music courses, some Bible courses, um, but I really wasn't right with the Lord, so uh, I really didn't apply myself like I should have. It's a great year, though. Hmm. Okay, so music is a passion of yours. Yes. How have you seen over the years how the Lord has allowed you to use it as an outlet for ministry, for your career, things like that? Well, it's funny, Courtney, because I majored in music education, got my degree in that, and then went with Word of Life Local Church Ministries and hardly ever used that for the first huh. probably 15 years we were with Word of Life. Mm -hmm. And then we moved back to Florida. And a few years after we moved here, we started the Bible Institute, and we needed a music director, and we just jumped in there, and we've had so much fun doing it. It's been just a blessing. Cool. So how did you know, and when did you know, that you were called to full-time ministry? I think I knew when I was going through college, and I was getting involved in different ministry opportunities, mm -hmm. and uh, we had the Word of Life Local Church ministries on our campus. As a matter of fact, our students did 75 different Word of Life clubs all over town. Okay. And my wife and I got to, uh, we weren't married then, we were just two students mm -hmm. working together uh, to build a youth ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we poured our heart into these young people, uh, we just enjoyed it. And uh, then in the summers, I would work at Word of Life camp, okay. uh, different camps, different places, and uh, loved that ministry and just, just knew that I kind of wanted to work with youth in full-time yeah. ministry. And you're actually a camp director now, right? Yes. At Word of Life in New York at the island. So tell me how um, camp ministry and Bible Institute ministry kind of connect. How are they similar? How are they different? And how have you just been able to be a part of both of those? Well, I kind of think of the Bible Institute as an extension of camp. Okay. Because I think young people come to camp and they get saved or they get right with God and they have life change. And, and of course, that's our, our whole goal at, at camp is life change. And mm. uh, to continue with that pattern they need to take it further. So they come to the Bible Institute and God begins to remake them every day as they study the Word of God. It's a blessing to see it all work together. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell me, um, just at the Bible Institute, you obviously love Word of Life. You've been around the ministry for a while. You've been involved. Why, why do you stay here? Why do you still stay involved in Word of Life? Why is it so special to you? I had this talk with somebody recently and they were wondering about Word of Life as a ministry. and. And they said, man, you've been with Word of Life for 40 years. How do you keep it fresh? Yeah. And you know, I told him about every five years I evaluate. I look at my mm -hmm. life and I say, is this what I should be doing for the rest of my life? And every time I've come to that, that time in my life, I've come to the conclusion that the way I can influence the most young people is through the ministry of Word of Life. And it's not that we're the perfect ministry yeah. or that we have it all together. It's just that there's so many opportunities we have to influence young people. And that's why I love it. Absolutely. So why would you say, as a, a high school grad or whatever, why, why, would, why should someone come study at the Bible Institute? Why is it important? Well, I look at our whole philosophy of life, which is no grow show. Okay. And I think the Bible Institute has the perfect balance mm -hmm. of, of knowing who you are in Christ and knowing what Christ wants to do in you. Mm -hmm. And then um, growing through what we do in the dormitories, through what we do in student life, through what we do in ministries, through what we do on campus, and then moving out in their ministries to show that. And uh, that being our philosophy, I believe we just work through that in a, in a really excellent manner. Hmm. And what would your advice be to someone who is young, who desires to serve the Lord, and they're looking for the next big step in their life? What would your advice be to kind of seek out the will of God for that individual? What would your advice be? My advice would be every day, walk in the knowledge that you have and walk through the open doors that God gives you and you don't even know you're taking big steps because you're taking small steps towards mm -hmm. God 
and through the open doors he gives you. And then all of a sudden you look back and you think, wow, God has really done something. If you enjoyed this video, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.